I am going to introduce Leslie Marsiglia, who we, we all know by now. And um, just to give you a little intro um, to, you know, my perspective on, on what Leslie does. Um, when we first launched our foundation, um, we were here for just a regular doctor's visit. And um, somebody from the fundraising team, uh, I think I may have bumped into them or reached out to them. I can't even remember now. But sat down with me and said, you know, I understand you're doing your own fundraising, and we are here as a resource. Um, so even though the money we were raising at that point wasn't necessarily going to Kennedy Krieger, um, although we were raising it in the hopes that we would someday have research here, um, I just there was this feeling of like we're here to support you. You know, we're here if you want to bounce ideas off of us, whatever you want to do, we are here for you. And that is the whole spirit here at the institute and and. So we have the very good fortune now of working very closely with Leslie, and probably she's sick of me by now. But um, so Leslie is the the fundraising, right? I don't know your exact title. I'm sorry. Okay, um, but she's a wonderful, wonderful person and a extremely bright and talented fundraiser, and she is just the go-to for her. so many things. So, with further ado. All right, everybody, can you hear me? Or do you want me to just talk in my regular voice? Because my regular voice is really loud. Um, I just wanted, you know, I thought of this, and I was talking with Beth just outside a little bit and Nicole, and I think it might be really fair to just tell you guys that in my own life, I am also facing some difficulties. So my husband has spinal stenosis, and many of the... Uh, um, conditions that Ed spoke about, that's exactly what my husband has. And what Dawn just spoke about, I'm the one who is, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, and get it, get it done. So I think that everybody can take a really good lesson from that, do what you can, and what you can't, forgive yourself for not being able to do. But just know that I walk a little bit, I walk a mile in your shoes, I understand what you're going through with all the medical appointments and that kind of thing. So I didn't want to be depressing, but here we are. We're fundraising to find a cure. And um, Nicole is going to help me here because I don't do PowerPoint presentations very often. I do, like, live stuff. So yep. am I just hitting this one? Yep. Okay. All right. So Dr. Fatimi said this morning how important it is to do the research and how much money it takes for us to do the research. So nobody in, in our family here at Kennedy Krieger ever wants to really talk about the money. Well, I'm the fundraiser and I'm the one who talks about it because it is necessary for us to move forward. We have millions of dollars to raise. We take it very seriously. I work for several other departments, although I will say that Dr. Fatimi is my favorite and <laughs> the McGinn's are my favorite family. But we, all, we have a lot that we have to do and we have a lot to accomplish so that we can move forward. Um, with research and stay on it and uh, keep Christina employed. So you'll, you'll hear from Dr. Mertz tomorrow. Um, anyway, so if we start like at the very beginning, so what does philanthropy mean? And obviously it's the desire to promote the welfare of others expressed especially by the generous donation of money to good causes. But I think it's safe to say that everybody in this room here has experienced philanthropy in some form way. You've either been asked for money, you've asked people for money, you've been asked to volunteer, or all of the above. So what our goal here today is to really kind of help you move forward if you are interested in helping us with fundraising. Oops. So again, it, that's that's our outcome. I, I don't want to be heavy-handed with you all, but I just want you to know that there are different opportunities for us to work together. So easy enough. Why do donors want to give? I mean, you have to kind of, start, like I say, start at the very beginning. So there's gratitude for excellent care and the desire to solve a difficult problem, you know, improve care and advance research, connection to Kennedy Krieger um, and Dr. Fatimi and all of his folks at the Moser Center. And he, look at this. Why do donors want to give? Because they are asked. I mean, duh. You know, so so I, I think that's just like such a, 
uh, I mean, it's like I say to my husband's neurosurgeon, you know, you're the brain surgeon. I'm not. He says, you're right, Leslie. You ask for money every day, and I just do the brain surgery. But it's because people ask. They asked it, and it makes them feel good. So I just want you to kind of have a little bit of background on that. Okay, and so there's a whole team of people back at our ranch that support you. Okay, so we work on a whole nother different location 15 minutes from here. And, um, you know, so now we have, I don't have my title up there, but it's Director of Individual Giving. And all that means is I'm, I'm just, I'm here to help each and every individual in this room to find a cure uh, for LBSL. Um, Emily, I don't know how to point this. Emily is in the gray top. And she oversees our entire gift processing um, portion of what we do. She also works on all of the online and um, behind the scenes work on all, all of our appeals. So we have 80, over 80 different departments here that we work with. So we have big jobs with that. Nicole, you know, my, my wing girl. And um, next, it, you met Jen this morning. Kellen does what we call third-party events, and we're going to get into that a little bit. And Teresa McKeskey also does third-party events, but with a different twist. She's the one who uh, coordinates Team Awesome. So she's the behind-the-scenes person. And Team Awesome is what you'll hear about next. Well, sort of next. And then you saw probably some of these folks today. Lisa Nickerson is our head of um, marketing and PR. Linda is someone who you probably have um, emailed with incessantly from some of you. And, um, and you know, and Stacy Bollinger is also a huge help for us. And she was in here uh, videotaping earlier. So I think this says it. This is just from our website. Do what you love and make it an incredible gift for children and adults living with LBSL. Now, where am I clicking? Okay. And learn more. Okay. Okay. So, again, this is right from our website, um, and it's really easy to follow. Uh, but that's why I have Nicole here too, just in case. So. Um, how it all works. It's in three easy steps. And so, you know, you can see all of this, but what I really want to do is kind of do learn more and, oops, there we go. So, before we can even go any further, I just, there's so many different ways to fundraise. Um, you can do an honor or a memorial in honor of someone. Obviously, you can set that up. That's for outright um, gifts. Um, special occasions. So um, that could be any number of things. It can be a gala. It can be an auction. It can be um, even an event that's held in, in honor of someone as well. So it's the honor and the event combined. You can do an athletic event. So it's competing with a five in a 5K. Ellie has a 5K that's coming up next Saturday. So um, those are just some other ways. Community fundraisers are just our projects. General fundraising, simple but powerful. And then ticketed events. All right. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to bring this forward just so that you can see a little bit more about Team Awesome. And this is really what we really wanted to showcase with you guys. So Beth started with a Cure for Ellie and her page um, that was related to the foundation. What we wanted to do was come into a more public awareness and put this out on Kennedy Krieger's website. So as we had people join us um, in our awesome team, so we have people now that are on here. You can see one is very noticeable, um, Dean Gilliam's family. Uh, Theodora Kovacs lives in Germany. Um, Kaiki um, is a patient, and they live in Brazil. And of course, you've got Ellie McGinn. So we're showing you know, all this progress, everything. Um, that moves on. You've got your honor roll that, that uh, lists people's gifts. 
and then your recent donors. So it's really easy to set these up. Um, I don't know if we, do you want to walk them through doing it or do you think that just sending the information on? I was going to say, yeah, we can send the information, send information. on, but yeah. One Basically, author. if you are interested, the um, join team button, it usually will walk through the steps. If you do run into any issues, you can give us a call or email. You guys have our emails. Um, but, you know, we'd be happy to walk you through. But it is easy to, to join the team. So I wanted to, I want to go back on that, though, because I think we can probably click on one some more. of this. One more. Oh, forward. And one more. Sorry, guys. There you go. No, I was thinking if, that there's the page. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties, always. We were so busy putting this conference on. Do you know when I wrote my presentation? Is this what you're looking for yeah. to find? I'm bugging them, and yeah, I'm the one who's who was late. To do the names, is that what you were looking for? Yeah. Um, yeah. Why don't you want to? Do you want to call up Ellie? You want to do that? No. I think we won't do it. And then I also, for a few minutes, I wanted to ask Stephanie to talk about her experience. She's on the Team Awesome, um, or Dean's team is on, um, Dean, Dean's dream team is on our um, awesome team. So if you want to, do you want to come up or you want to just stand up and give a few words while we're figuring things out here? Excellent. Thanks. So, all right. So, so with with you talking, Stephanie, it reminds me of all the different things that you can do. And when we go back to the one screen that said, "Do what you love and love what you do," um, I think that's really key. So, anything that you love. So, let's just say you're um, a hair designer, you know, and you and you own a salon, or you know somebody that owns a salon. They can do a cutathon that would would benefit. Um, let's say you love making jewelry; you can sell jewelry. Um, there are just a myriad of things that you that can be done. Artwork is another a great one. Um, any of the restaurant nights are terrific. Food food stores oftentimes will do a percentage day. I know Whole Foods does. Uh, Wegmans 
here locally does. I'm not sure what's in the Midwest in California, but I'm sure they all also have um, the ability to raise funds for us. So there's a lot of different ways. There's no no reason that you can't craft it in your own way. The other thing, that's why our team is here. So I'm being really general, really, really general with everybody. But we have a whole team. We have all the information available for everyone. If you have an idea and say you think it's only half-baked or whatever, where you just don't know how to do the logistics, that's what we're here for. So all of those folks that I, I showed you pictures of uh, have a specific role. So I think I think we've got this. We're going to be able to donate now. and Or I'm sorry, join team. And I'm going to ask Nicole to come in and do all of the explanation just because I don't typically work on this. She does. Um, it is eventually going to ask you to set up an account, and if you don't have one, it's you'll create username and password, um, which we won't do now, so it is going to become sort of limited. Um, but basically, you're going to set a fundraising goal. Um, I believe with um, Team Awesome, how did you guys do that? Did you? Yes. Because if you looked on the other one, it gives a thermometer of how much is raised, which sometimes isn't accurate. So how? So we did. We determined it. We went by milestones um, uh, for the research projects, and so we have different milestones that we met, and uh, that Dr. Fatimi kind of assigned a price to. Uh, and and that's where we we went. So we we're really only still on on um, milestone one. We're, we've we've just about completed that. So you don't need to th get that big, but it is going to ask you what your goal is. Um, so you obviously mark that here. So say it's three hundred dollars. You know that's what your goal is. Mm -hmm. well, you can change that very quickly. If you're looking to do it anonymously, again, it is going to ask you one at one time to set up a username and password. Um, new participant, it'll ask you again to, to enter the everything. information. Um, just to note, this over here is not required. We've had some people that have started entering in birth date in general. Um, you don't actually have to, to provide that for us. Um, it's not going to let me go any further. Um, okay. But again, uh, if you have problems setting up your page, um, pretty much uh, what you see, let me see if I can get back there. This is all edible in a sense that you can change the picture, you can change the wording, and if you run into any problems, if you are looking to do this, you can call us. We can um, assist in walking you through. Um, so that is an option. And if you don't want to go the fundraising route, you you can hit do donate now. So what my specialty is really with with you all is working with you one on one, um, giving providing advice, um, directing you to the right people. So um, we will also have another handout that we'll be sending. Actually, it won't be a handout. It'll be. Um, a PDF that we'll send on to you that explains it a little bit further. So again, uh, fundraising is an important element, obviously, in research. And we need everybody's help, if you can. Um, and we don't want to beat you over the head, but I just wanted you to be aware of it. So thank you.